Welcome to Night's Arcade, I'm Sleepless Night, we are in Sniper Elite 5, and normally I just write the odd text prompts for these short tip videos, but this one has some complicated stuff you might feel you need to know if you're not that familiar with this location, so it's quicker if I just tell you, to be honest. On top of which, one of my subscribers, Lone Wolf, thinks I've been abducted, because I talk over almost all my videos, so this one's for you, buddy. This is probably the most difficult long shot in the base game for Sniper Elite 5. The required distance for the medal is 675 meters. However, because this is a relatively small island map, the only target I have seen over that distance is well outside the playable map at over 1850 meters distance. The good news is that Rebellion have allowed for this and have set you up with a suitably powerful rifle at the only location in the game from which you can realistically take this shot. The bad news is that to get to that location, you will have to get through half the Nazis on the map, and there really isn't a starting location that makes this a great deal easier. You might take this shot while you're completing the campaign, listening in on the meeting, in which case you'll have come close to here anyway, but since there are several ways to complete that objective, you might never even know that this place was there at all. The other piece of bad news is that because the rifle you need for this shot is a found weapon, you can't reload it, and it only has three shots in it. It is possible to do this with one of the rifles you can unlock. If you want to take your own rifle so that you can have more shots to get this right, you'll need to use the loadout that I have on screen now. As far as I can tell, this is more or less the same setup as the rifle you can find in the bell tower. Although the bullet drop is quite a bit greater, I have tested it and made the shot with this rifle, but only on sharpshooter difficulty. So whichever location you decide to start from, make your way through the Nazis until you reach the meeting room, which is your main objective during the campaign. Outside the meeting room, on the eastern side, is a balcony overlooking the large stained glass window. If you face that window and turn around, you'll see an alcove with some crates and a ladder. At the top of the first ladder is where you would eavesdrop on the meeting if you didn't have the key to the room. But you're going to climb two more ladders to get into the bell tower of the abbey itself. Once you reach the bell tower, there will be a rifle in front of you on a crate along with two boxes of match ammunition. Take it, turn around and walk over to the corner of the room and kneel down roughly in the position I'm showing on screen now. Through the window to the south, you will see a tower just below the summit of the hilltop in the distance. The guy whose pixelated life you are about to take for the sake of a gold medal in a video game is standing on the top of that tower. It's difficult to see him in authentic mode because that tower is over 1800 meters away, but he will appear as a tiny meandering dot and you want to wait until he stands right there. Now, as long as you use the rifle you found on the crate and knelt down in more or less the spot I told you to, your sight picture should need to look something like this. And sure, I missed him with the first shot, but not with the second. And that's that. The most difficult, authentic gold medal long shot in Sniper Elite 5, and you just made it. Well done. Take the rest of the day off. Hit the beach. Calmly explain to those who attempt to get in your way that you're off the clock now and you haven't got time for their bullshit, and the rest of the day is yours. That's all from me. Thank you for watching. Leave a like to let me know you found this helpful. Subscribe if you're feeling really brave, and I'll see you again soon. From Night's Arcade, this is Sleepless Night, saying nighty-night.